Hello everybody, it's me Ali. In this video series, we will perform CFD simulation on on two-dimensional airfield problem. Also, we will extract the data of the airfoil, which is pressure coefficient data. And let's get started. So the first things to do is to prepare the folder case of the of the uh, to the air file. So how do we do that? We simply copy on copy the uh, file from the tutorial from the open form and use it as our basic uh, our base uh, folder case. So let's locate the open form tutorial folder. Here I use the uh, open form for Windows. You can use a different fashion, but it depends on your uh, your needs. So in here we go to the simple form and air file, copy, and paste it on run folder. Actually, I've prepared this run folder and paste here. And after that, we can go to the open form. Yeah in the terminal. Go on to the directory. I put the folder here and air file 2D and go on to the parafoam to have a look to the initial mess of the of the problem. As you can see this is the initial mess of the um, air file 2D from the open form. But we don't need this uh, mesh actually because we will create a new one. And also, actually, we 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 use a different airfoil. Remember, so let's delete the mesh. So the mesh is located on uh, here, in the constant folder, and the poly mesh. So delete it, and it's finished. Then we need to prepare the geometry. I've prepared the geometry of the airfoil here, the airfoil of 0012 in the step file. So to modify the geometry and to prepare the mesh, we need to open the geometry on uh, on the Salome. So where is the Salome here? It is the Salome. The Salome is basically the open source software for geometry modification and mesh generation. <clears throat> so click on, on the new file and go on to the geometry module and import the step file um, it's located uh, here okay yes and as you can see this is the air file we have and this next step is to prepare the far off field uh, region. For in this case, far off field is used to basically the far off field region is will be used for the boundary patch later on the open form. So I use the circle here. Okay, that's correct, I think, and apply. And so we want a different. The second, oh sorry, this is a different, okay, here. So, okay, apply and close. So we have these two this and one assembly, the, the airfoil itself. But before we proceed further, we need to move the airfoil to the center here, 0, 0.0. So let's locate the center of mass of the Geometry first, so this is the center of mass, and name it COM. Apply, and then we move the by doing the translation, we move the this geometry into the coordinate of the center of mass, the negative coordinate of the center of mass. So here we move it in the negative direction. Apply. Oh sorry, I removed a different, <laughs> I removed wrong 
Run geometry. So that's it. And with this, okay, it's good. And then the next step is to do the partition. So the main object will be this this one, and the tool object will be this two and this translation. So go on, click on the this one and click on the partition button here. And tools object will be this two and translation, right? Apply and close. So we have this. This is the result of the partition. As you can see, we have this uh, faces on the, this one, but we only need the outer face of the airfoil, so we don't need the inside face here, the or the inner face. So we need to suppress faces here. Choose the inside or the inner face. Apply. Okay. Close. So here we have we have prepared the geometry and for the airfoil simulation and we need to create a group of the edges to make a patch and also to do the refinement mesh later. <coughs> so new entity and group create group go on to the edges. The first group will be far field maybe. Power field edges will be these two edges. Add, apply, and airfoil. Airfoil edges will be so the airfoil edges is only the edges along the airfoil, so we don't need this, this this and this click on height selected so we have this only select them all and add we name it airfoil and apply and also we need to group this name it let's say it left and the, the, the other edges right fine close so we have this far field airfoil left right okay good and also we need to mm, we need to make a group of the face I think Okay, so the face will be this two face. Face one, we name it face one. Okay, good. So the geometry preparation is complete, and the next step is to do the mesh and mesh refinement. So, uh, see you on the next video. Bye.